Listen, y'all already know what time it is, man. It's that boy Jelly back out here with another video. As y'all can see, we got a side of a little time. Dang. Listen, bro. We are reacting to the 2024 Double XL Freshman Cypher trailer, bro. Let's see what this shit is talking about. We already know that Richard Miri walked out on the Cypher. They made a whole article about it. Then let's see if Honcho did the Cypher. I'm more interested in knowing if Honcho did the Cypher and if Four Bats did the Cypher because as we know, Honcho had a freestyle. It didn't release. So I hope that he still participated in both Four Bats. I'm not really sure. I don't think that... I, is he too big-headed for Double XL to do the Cypher? I don't know. We shall see within this video. But hey, man... I, I feel like with the Cyphers, I think Maya the Don might be the best on the Cyphers. I don't know. It's between Maya the Don and Mexican OT. Those are the two that I can think of right now that I know will go crazy on this shit. Maya the Don has already been in the Cypher. This is her second time in the Cypher, so I know she's going to go crazy. She's the MVP of the 2024 XXL Freshman Freestyles, bro. I'm going to give you all my list of the top 10 that I thought did from best to worst in terms of the freshman freestyles. I'll let y'all know all that at the end of this video when we get done reacting to this shit. But hey, man, if you do this channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you know you feel me, let's get into it, bro. 2024 XXL Freshman Freestyle Trailer. Let's get into it, bro. 2024 XXL Freshman fr Cypher. Let's get into it, bro. 2024 XXL Freshman Cypher Trailer. One minute. Not, no. Uh, one minute, 49 seconds. Let's get into it, bro. Talk to me. Let's go. And we already know Southside gonna come crazy with these goddamn beats, bro. Let's change the screen. Let's do it. Play that shit. Hold on. Hold on. Southside. Money good. Trout swing. I'm beating the pot up like I'm angry. I can run it up with no angle. I got chicken like Bojangle. Yeah. Why is that nigga always talking about food? Fat ass. Shit. I can run it up with no angle. I got chicken like Bojangle. <laughs> what the fuck? Me, me Baby, if you didn't know, he named a top five in the city and don't mention me. Then he played with his nose. Yeah. One custom jeans, couple bands to pop a tag. She keep dropping all this music. Someone tell her that it's whack. Yeah. Well, the streams are income. I feel like I'm costing that. <laughs> hold on. Let's see. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see who they got on the list. Hold on. So this is going to be three right here. So it's going to be Maya Dunn. Big X to plug and um, Boss Man D Lo on this one. Okay. Couple beans to pop a tag. She keep dropping all this music. Someone tell her that. That is whack. All the streams of income. I feel like I'm catching that. Yeah. Okay, so we got on here. Let's blow this up real, real quick. Let's move my screen out the way. Cash Cobain. I don't know how he's going to do on this beat because usually he rap on his goddamn drill beats or whatever. Who's this? Vance. Uh, Scarlet, Scarlet in the back. Okay, okay. I feel like I feel like Mexican OT gonna outshine all of them. I don't know. Laybase might surprise me. Who knows? Cause she actually know how to rap. Yeah. Yeah. This is not the best Southside beat. I'm gonna keep it a buck. He could have did better. Let me chill. I don't know how long they give him like give these producers in i don't know how long they give these producers time to make beats like do they just do they email them ahead of time be like hey we want you for double xl can you make some beats like two weeks in advance or do they just be like make some quick shit real quick because we all already know with the 2016 cypher the beat that Kodak and them on was ass, my nigga. So it's like, what is the time frame for these producers to make these beats? Because we, we've all heard way better Southside beats, bro. Maybe he pulled some shit out of the vault. Sliders right there, creep up in their dreams, pen game, give them nightmares. Mm. I'm not trying to discuss it. Ain't about the money to fuck it. But old teachers are cut it. All my bitches be stuck. Oh my fucking God, bro. You gonna go over two, nigga? Drop that trash ass freestyle and you go drop this. Disgusting. Ain't about the money. Whack ass shit. But old teachers are cut it. 
all my bitches be stunning. These niggas wanna be your friends. I am not trying to be buddy. That shit Yo, ass. Ain't millionaire, nobody put me on. Yeah. I'm trying to make no friends in this shit, nigga. I'm gone. Yeah. I'm standing in no nigga entourage to do a song. Cause <laughs> a day I don't like talking on the phone. Yeah. Nigga. Bubbles and bruising egos, just being me though. My body Tito and bitches Cheeto. Lot of shit. Is it the fucking beat? Is it the beat, bro? Niggas is off beat like shit. Skiller baby was probably the only nigga that was on beat. Is it the beat? Southside. to do a song five jail calls a day i don't like talking on the phone nigga bursting bubbles and bruising egos just being me though my body tito and bitches cheeto a lot of shit you seen these bitches doing yeah i started it party music no i ain't created i was part of it the evolution Okay, so she's talking about the whole party music shit. Oh, party music. I'm not a big fan of party music. No, I ain't created. I was part of it. That uh, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Yeah, nigga. R.I.P. to the 2024 freshman ciphers, bro. That beat, bro. I, this isn't a top tier South Side beat right here. This nigga made some hard shit for King Carson, Destroy Lonely, all these niggas. Lucky? We already heard Elegant. That beat was hard as fuck. This is one of my favorite beats this year. These beats was kind of... The first one was straight. The second one was ass, bro. I don't even know if it's the beat or if it was them, bro. This is, this is going to be horrendous, bro. Two ciphers, and that's it. I don't know what I think about this shit this year. Let's see the comments real quick, bro. Let's see. Cause I can't be the only one that's like, what the fuck? This has gotta be the fattest double XL list of all time. Man, no way y'all put all the big people in one cipher. Wait a second. Mm. Don't be to me. <laughs> Niggas is wild as hell. Uh, brain rot cipher, new ciphers. I got chick at my Bojangle. This nigga always talking about some food. <laughs> this dude seriously rhyme no angle with Bojangles. <laughs> he can't get fried chicken off his mind. <laughs> Didn't think Double XL was literal. Double XL really living up to his name. I can't wait for no. <laughs> Three different artists not doing the cipher is crazy, bro. So. The people that we didn't see. Four bats, Hancho, Richard Miri. Hey, I ain't even gonna lie. I don't blame Richard Miri, but I ain't gonna lie. I do not blame Richard Miri for leaving. Now that I see this bullshit, I do not blame him for leaving, bro. The beats wasn't giving Richard Miri. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Now that I look at it, bro, Richard Miri, bro, I do not blame you for leaving, my nigga. <laughs> now that I, you probably heard the beats just like me. It was like, what the fuck is this? Oh, you probably heard everybody else part on a on a cipher. It was like, bro, this shit is ass. I don't really blame you, bro. Man, I, this year, it's it's gonna be horrible, bro. I, this is this is probably by far. It's definitely going to be some people during the cypher that outshines, like, that shines during the cypher. But other than that, bro, I don't really see it. I don't really see this shit being anything too crazy, bro. Now, if we get to my list on my favorite double XL freshman cyphers, we're going to start from the bottom and work our way all the way to the top. We had nine freestyles that dropped this year for the 2024 XXL freshman list. At number nine, I got Cash Cobain because it was just ass, nigga. It was nothing to it, nigga. Beating on his chest and shit, only saying two goddamn words, and that's it for per bar, my nigga. That shit was ass, pretty much. I ain't gonna lie to you. Cash Cobain said it was ass itself, so I'm not really mad at him, but my nigga, you just went two, 0 for 2. Your freestyle is ass, and your cypher is ass, my nigga. Like, what the fuck is going on, dog? And then... At eight, I got Richard Mary. Well, Richard Mary shit, it wasn't really no like crazy bars in it. It was just mainly just him talking. It was very chill, very laid back. But in terms of punchlines and shit that you would want to hear in a freestyle, Richard Mary freestyle did not include that. At number seven, I got Big XXL the plug, bruh. I only got him this low on the list because I could barely understand him during the first listen. His voice is so deep. 
but he's fire. He's fire at what he do. I'll say that he's a fire rapper. He's a fire artist. But I got him low on the list because I could I could barely understand the nigga. And there's way better people that was on this list that I think was better than him in terms of freestyles. Now at number six, I got Boss Man D'Lo, man. Shout out to Boss Man D'Lo. Shout out to Alamo Records, by the way. Boss Man D'Lo got him at number six. His freestyle was solid. It wasn't bad. Nigga was definitely talking about food, just like he did with the cipher and shit. I don't know what's up with this nigga with food and shit. What he said during this freestyle, uh, fuck Chick-fil-A, come on, baby. We eating steak or some shit. Now he talking about no angle bojangles, my nigga. He can't get food off his mind. But Boss Man D'Lo, he hard as hell. He been doing his thing for sure. Good thing that he participated in the freestyle and the cypher. Because to be honest, he really didn't have to. Now, at number five, I got Skilla Baby. Skilla Baby did his thing, had his punchlines up in there and all that shit. It was a quick little freestyle, but I really think it was better. I really like Michigan, the Michigan style of music. So that's really, <clears throat> that's another reason why I put him high on the list. Because bro been doing his thing as well. And he hard as fuck, bro. I definitely need to react to Skilla Baby some more on my channel. Now, at number four, we got Mexican OT, bro. It's looking like he gonna carry the cypher, but during the freestyle, his freestyle was actually good, but it was some people during the freestyles that really, really outdid themselves. Like, it, they gave me what I wanted to see. Mexican OT already know the nigga was gonna come out and spit his bars with the flows and all that shit. His flows be crazy. The bars be fire as hell. I just love the way that Mexican OT rap and overall, but that's why I got him at number four, bruh. Now, at number three, <laughs> Lay Banks. Lay Banks showed me something that I really needed to see. Like, like she said, during her cypher, she started the party music or whatever the hell. I don't really like the party music wave that she been on, bro. I really fuck with her original shit. Like, she knows how to rap be beyond the party hits. You see what I'm saying? The TikTok hits, I like to call it. She know how to rap beyond that. So... She gave me what I wanted to see in terms of bars, and that's what I really want to see. I want to see more from her on that regard, not just making shake your hips music and all that shit for Philly. And not just making shake your hips moves, not just making shake your hips music for TikTok. Now at number two, I got Scarlet. Scarlet, another one of those TikTok artists. Um, that has blew up off of TikTok. I'm not really a big fan of her actual music, but during her freestyle, I wanted to get something that I've never heard before from her, from her. She came with a deeper, deeper story of her, of her upbringing pretty much. And I love the way that she just, that she did that because we don't really know Scarlett at all, but for her to do some shit like that, switch it up and switch it up completely from her actual music. That's why I got her so high up on the list, bro. She she has some bars that's like, damn, bro, that's what you actually went through. Like, you can you can definitely feel her her pain behind her. You can definitely feel her pain behind her bars. And at number one, obviously, Maya the Don. Maya the Don went crazy. The bars, the punchlines, she had me thinking during her freestyle and shit. She just went crazy. Her shit was fire as hell. But other than that, man, y'all can let me know who y'all think did the best for the double XL. Twenty y'all can let me know who did the best for the 2024 double XL freshman freestyles. Let me know what y'all think about these ciphers down below in the comments. But other than that, man, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, subscribe. If you need for more videos, come some more content coming soon. Y'all already know what time it is, man. Make sure you follow the kick, follow the Twitch. Also join the Discord down below in the description. But hey, man, this be your boy, that boy Deli. Oh, gone, man.